everyone, Alicia McGill here with Math Labs. Today we are focusing on Common Core Content Standard 6.RP.1, um, which corresponds to Lab 1.1 in the Grade 6 Ratio and Proportional Relationships Unit. And the mathematical practices are 1 through 8, all of them. It's an application problem. Kids will be then persevering. They have to justify reasoning, use a model, which is going to be a ratio table, and look for a pattern in it, so repeated reasoning, and all of those important skills. So this is a great um, lab to really launch the unit. And um, I'm gonna launch the lab and just get in right away. But before I do that, I just wanna make mention of one thing. This is the second unit that I teach after the number sense sixth grade unit, okay? Because there are skills in the number sense unit, you know, like dividing decimals that are important to have and are prerequisite skills to working with rates, for example, when you have to use those calculations. And so although in the Common Core Standards it might list this first, that doesn't necessarily mean that that's the order that you should teach. Um, this is the one place where I feel definitely, and I'm not 99.9%, 100% firm in believing that the number sense unit should be taught prior to the ratio and proportional relationships. Now, you can leave out integers and absolute value and put that in expressions and equations, but as far as division of uh, fractions and decimals and percents, all of that prior to ratio and proportional uh, reasoning is important. Okay. So what we're going to do is launch the lab, so take your Math Labs book out to 1.1 right in the beginning. Um, remember there's a QR code on the page, so if you were absent, you can uh, go online and use your QR reader and just not even have to scan it, literally put your smartphone or your um, tablet right on that QR code and it'll bring you right to this video. And remember, every lab has a video. All right, so lab 1.1. Please read the objective in your head as I read it aloud. I can use a ratio table to add to find a part-to-part -part ratio and equivalent ratios, okay? And we're gonna focus on this word ratio. So we're gonna be filling out our violet uh, template, remember, with our vocabulary. Um, that's something that we're going to do this week so that we have a go-to place for our vocabulary for this unit. And um, this idea of part to part is what we're looking at in this particular um, lab. In fact, the first um, three labs are part to part, and then we look at a part to whole. All right, so let's go ahead and launch. This is an application problem, so I'm gonna read it. All right, it says, Addy is planning a party and has a recipe for a pitcher of lemonade that calls for six cups of water for every one cup of sugar. She also needs five large lemons for the recipe. Each pitcher serves a six people. She plans on having a pitcher at each table. Fill in the table to show the ratio of sugar to water um, in the table below. Remember to add the same amount of sugar for the same amount of water. All right, so each pitcher, so the first pitcher, has this ratio of sugar to water. And it said that it is one to six. All right, if you recall, um, you can express that using a colon, right? One to six, a fraction, which one over six in this case, or with the word two, one to six. Um, in the lab tomorrow, you're really gonna be working on, uh, with that. I just wanted to do an exploration first, and then we're gonna look at the meaning. What does this mean for every one cup of sugar, there are six cups of water, and we'll write out that complete sentence for the meaning. But for here, we're gonna just do the exploration first and look at the context of the problem. All right, so it said to add. So if I have two pitchers, so for every one cup of sugar, I have six cups of water. So if I had two cups of sugar, so if I'm adding one here, then um, should I add one down here? You know, and should that be uh, equivalent to seven cups of water? Or do I need six cups for every cup of sugar? So if I have two cups of sugar, then you guessed it, I should need 12 cups of water. So I'm adding six down here. So if I have three cups of sugar, then I could add six here and get 18 cups of water. And so I want you to continue the pattern to um, eight pitchers 
for eight tables. Um, actually, I think the table goes up to 10. I just stopped here just for the uh, camera purposes. But you're going to continue this investigation. Um, in part B, you're going to look at the ratio of, instead of sugar to water, you're going to look at the ratio of um, sugar to lemon and even lemon to water. Because remember, there were five lemons that were part of this recipe as well. Okay, so I want you guys to have fun with this lab. It's an application lab, and so I really want you to talk about the problem and, and each part and each component and make sense of that. And then we will um, reconvene and brief in about, I'm going to give you about 25 minutes to do this lab. All right, we'll see you soon.